Hi, my name is Tom Volk and I'm a professor at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse. I'm a mycologist, which means I study mushrooms and other fungi. And little did I know when I started this field that fungi would one day help to save my life. People may look at me and not understand my unusual um, style choices, but I have lived through a lot of things. A certain segment of the students that can relate to this, um, it, the students also learn that they should not judge a person by what they look like, by, by what they do and what they have to offer you. The most successful days are when the light bulb goes on for a student, uh, when there's a difficult concept that they might not be able to get, and I'm able to help them to understand that concept. Light bulb goes on above their head, metaphorically, and they get it, and that's pretty cool. I've gone through a lot to get to where I am today, uh, health-wise. I was pretty healthy until 1997 when I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease, which is cancer of the lymph nodes. I had radiation for that, and that's gone, fortunately. In 2002, I started to develop heart problems because of the radiation to my heart. Uh, they try to shield the heart, but it doesn't work so well. And I developed uh, enlarged heart. Uh, and eventually developed arrhythmias in my heart. So I had a defibrillator and pacemaker put in uh, that shocked me a lot of times, uh, eventually. Uh, in 2005, uh, during that period when I was the most sick with my heart, I had flesh-eating bacteria in my foot, and I was in the hospital for about a month for that. Uh, that was, I was very close to being dead. I became the most interesting case in the ICU at the Mayo Clinic, which is not good. Um, and after that, uh, they decided that my heart was getting worse and worse. It was shocking more and more. And eventually we decided I should have a heart transplant. And in uh, May 22nd of 2006, I received the phone call from the Mayo Clinic uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, I'll never forget the phone call. Uh, the woman on the other end said, hello, this is so-and-so from the Mayo Clinic. Uh, we have a heart for you. So at that time, I became terrified. Um, I didn't expect it that soon, and I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, so my students uh, came and picked me up and took me to the Mayo Clinic. I had to be there very soon and 6.30 in the morning, and it was done by 9.30. Uh, they kept me in an induced coma for a day after that, and then woke me up and wanted me to walk. And I did. So when I, I woke up from my transplant, I knew that I had someone else's heart in me, uh, and that person had died uh, in some sort of accident, I actually don't know. Uh, and I eventually found out that the woman in the room next to me had received the same person's lungs. So I'm assuming that many of the organs, other organs of this person went to help other people in their lives as well. So I'm very grateful to that person. I don't know who they are. And I'm very grateful to their family who had to ultimately make the decision to donate this person's organs to many people and help them in their lives. So when I went to the Gift of Life transplant house after my transplant, uh, a couple weeks afterward, I went home with a lot of drugs, a lot of medicines uh, that would help me in dealing with the transplant. So one of the most important ones that I had was cyclosporin. And cyclosporin is a drug that comes from a fungus called Tulipocladium inflatum. And it is the um, drug that helps to suppress the immune system. Uh, the fungus itself grows on an underground grub, uh, which is very strange, and somehow someone discovered that this fungus would suppress the immune system. So this has allowed my new heart to function very well in my body without being rejected by my immune system. A couple months after my, I had my heart transplant, I learned from one of the other people in the transplant house 
that he had seen his heart, his old heart that had been taken out. So of course, I, being a biologist, I had to do this and I had to see it. And so I asked to see my heart and I got to see my heart. There are pictures of me holding it. And about a year later, I asked for it again and they said, oh sure. And so I have my heart. I have my old heart. Uh, I keep it on my desk in my office. Um, some friends of mine made me a heart cozy for it uh, and uh, because they didn't want to just sit naked on my desk. So this heart cozy is made out of wool that's dyed with mushrooms. So it's very colorful uh, and it has mushroom theme to the whole thing. So it's various kinds of felting and knitting and all sorts of other things like that. It's very cool. Uh, the first time I held my heart in my hand, I cried because it was a very moving experience. Um, I thought about the person whose heart I had in my body and I thought about my heart being held in my hand uh, and it was pretty surreal. Uh, when I give talks to the anatomy and physiology classes, I pull my heart out near the end of the talk and I can hear the gasps from the audience. Uh, and it really brings it home that I really did have a transplant and this is my heart. Students come up afterward and they hold it in their hands and they're, uh, it's a very surreal experience for them as well that you know this is someone's heart and it was once in my body. The question people ask is how have I changed from this? And I think that I've become a much more relaxed person. Uh, I am less inclined to worry about what other people think and I don't sweat the small stuff. The small stuff is not that important uh, and I treat every day as the old cliche is true, I treat every day as if it's a gift and it really is. So I often find people who have a health problem or the, um, a psychological problem or they're depressed and I tell them my story and what will often happen is that they see that I have made it through something that was really terrible and I've turned it into something positive. So I hope that students and other people who see my story can realize that you can make it through this. You, with the help of your friends and your family, you can do it.